So, as promised, um, <clears throat> here's a little video of my uh, Pixie 40 meter QRP um, transceiver, which I built last week from a kit that cost me, uh, I think it's about three pound. Um, I've actually got another one to build. Um, I thought I'd buy two, seeing as they were so cheap. And uh, I, I'm sort of built this as part of my uh, intermediate course. Um, so I just thought I'd uh, show a quick video of it be, of it uh, in its built state and uh, and it actually working. First time, no troubleshooting required. It seemed to work first time. So that's the actual kit built. Um, <clears throat> just show you some of my soldering skills. Oh. I uh, didn't think they were too bad. I've uh, done some kit building before. Um, but, uh, this one's a little bit fiddly. Um, you need quite a fine tip on the uh, the soldering iron. And uh, um, I think uh, I've got a variable temperature soldering iron and uh, I had it set for... Oops, just getting out of focus there. And I had it set uh, at about uh, 350 degrees for, for most of the soldering on this. I turned it up for like some of the, the bigger connectors like uh, on the aerial just to give me some extra heat on there to make sure I've got a, a, a good joint. So that's it. So um, that's it in its uh, built state. Um, uh, here's a little dummy load that I made up. Um, basically... I uh, wanted to be able to test it afterwards, obviously. So I uh, don't know if you can probably catch it in the light just down there. Um, I put uh, two uh, two uh, 100 ohm resistors in parallel to give me the, the 50 ohms. Uh, hence the reason I've got the uh, the multimeter out as well there. Just wanted to double check that it was around 50 ohms, even though my calculations were correct. Um, just wanted to check it and make sure there was no shorts because it's a, a bit tight inside that plug after I've assembled it. But uh, yep, uh, it, it seems to work okay. As I say, it's uh, two 200 ohm uh, resistors, three watt ones, I think, so just to give me a, a, a bit of a, a decent dummy load to uh, to put on it. So first of all, I'm just going to show it working with it uh, plugged straight in. Um, you may have spotted in the background, uh, I've got a SWR meter and a, a power meter. I'm not expecting it to uh, to move the, the power meter much, and obviously if it's going into dummy load, uh, I'm not really interested in the SWR, but uh, um, <coughs> just going to uh, see whether it does move the power meter at all, and if, if so, how much it's actually uh, pushing out. So just going to pause the video here for a second while I set it all up and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see it's all working. So I've uh, now attached a power supply in this case. Uh, I'm just powering off of a uh, good old cheap Morrison's 9 volt battery. Um, I've plugged uh, my headphones in which I've uh, uh, got a pair of uh, Sennheiser headphones. Um, and I can hear hissing on there, so it means that uh, the receiver side is doing something. Didn't expect to hear much, <clears throat> obviously, because the dummy load is in. And uh, um, then I've also just plugged in uh, my Morse key, which could do with a damn good clean, to be honest. Um, haven't used it for a long time. But, uh, yep, that's that's now plugged in as well. Um, I've tuned my, uh, I've got a scanner here, and I've tuned it to uh, 7023. Um, which is the frequency this should operate on and if we go back to here if I do do a bit of keying as you can hear it's got this uh, annoying little buzzer on here which is uh, obviously so that you can hear what you're keying um, I find it quite annoying but thankfully they give you a, a little jump here which you can remove. I'll just take that off and move it over so it's not connected and that disconnects the buzzer. Um, that's the buzzer there with this wonderful translation on it from Chinese. Obviously remove seal after washing. Um, I think it probably means remove seal after installing but uh, there you go. <clears throat> so that's now on there and if I now key as you can hear there's no annoying squeak from the little buzzer and if we go back over to the, uh, the radio as you could probably hear oops, let's get that in there. as you can see it's uh, actually working getting a nice 
signal strength just off the dummy load. I know it's only like uh, mounted about uh, <laughs> a foot away, but uh, at least it shows it, it, it is actually sending something. So. There you go, a bit of uh, morse and it seems to be working. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So the next bit is I'm uh, going to disconnect it all again and put it through the uh, the power meter here and just see whether um, we've got any power, whether it will actually move the needle at all. Um, not quite sure what these are supposed to, to put out. Um, I know they're QRP so that it's going to be relatively low. But uh, yeah, let's get it connected up and, uh, and we'll see that working in a second. Okay, so uh, I've now got it uh, connected up through the, uh, the power meter and SWR meter. As I say, I'm not really interested in the SWR because it's through a dummy load. But uh, yeah, I had to obviously use a couple of converters. Um, uh, my uh, power meter is uh, SO239 so uh, and uh, yeah just needed to, uh, to to use a converter on there BNC to SO239 and then normal PL259 and that goes into the the back of uh, the uh, the power meter and then again I've used a converter to uh, take it back to the, uh, the the dummy load oh and there's my uh, Morse crib sheet um, haven't used it for a long time. Used to do rather a lot of it, but haven't used it for a long time. So I uh, need to refresh my memory. So there we go. It, it's all in there. And so let's see. Let's key it up and uh, see whether we get any um, power out of it. So as we can see, we actually have got some some power out of it. Uh, let's see if we can focus. There we go, so. So, not sure on the accuracy, uh, not so sure of the accuracy of that, uh, the power meter there. Um, don't know how good it is, but according to that, it's pushing out about uh, 300 milliwatts, which um, is, is all right. Not bad for a QRP transmitter, quite pleased with that. And as you can hear in the background, it uh, it's all still working. So, so there you go. That's my intermediate project, a uh, little Pixie QRP. Um, transceiver there and it all seems to be working first time round so pretty pleased with that um, thanks for watching if you have any comments just add them to, uh, to the video underneath thanks cheers